welcome to Whiskey Wins with me, Stuart. This is my fourth review and today I'm going to be giving my opinions on Glenn Moranzi, Mill Sean. Basically Glenn Moranzi here wanted to embody all things sweet, all things sugary, uh, a kind of sweet shop if you will for this whiskey. Uh, hence the, the red and white pinstripes on the box and they're also on the bottle. This is to reiterate the candy shop kind of colours and theme. I'll give a little read of the bottle. So, the sweet spot, inspired by the extravagant and varied selection of traditional sweet shops, Dr. Bill Lumsden, our director of whiskey creation and distilling, set to work using X wine casks that he had identified and set aside as he knew they would impart an incredible sweetness on his whiskey. Um, and I believe these X wine casks are X Portuguese red wine barriques. His aim was to replicate something of those delicious sweet shop flavours in a single malt whiskey. There was also uh, X bourbon casks used in this, uh, as well as the barriques. I mean, that's enough on the. I could, there's there's a lot on the back of that box. I'm not sure if you're able to see it from there, but I'm not going to read all that. We'll, we'll get down to tasting it. Milshan itself, the name um, Milshan, sorry, is uh, Gaelic for sweet things. Obviously, they've picked pick the name just to go along with the, the candy shop slash sweet shop theme here. So, we'll, we'll, we'll get around to smelling and, and tasting. Yeah, it's a very, very sweet whiskey on the nose. Uh, fudge. Fudge comes to mind. I'd also say there's some coconut there. Yeah, a little bit of coconut. Quite, quite creamy fudge smelling, maybe a uh, sherbet as well, uh, kind of boiled sweets. Uh, lemon sherbet's the one that, that, that comes to the forefront of my nose. It's a lovely whiskey, 46% ABV, so it's not too, too rough. And getting plum notes there, maybe a uh, bounty. The, uh, the sweet, and the only reason I really say bounty is, is to go along with uh, the, the theme of candy shops or sweet shops. The reason for bounty is it's got coconut on the inside, I can taste coconut, and uh, maybe a little hint of chocolate. The chocolate isn't too strong, but since it's sweet shops, we'll go with bounty. I'm also getting tablet, which is a, a Scottish sweet. I'm not sure if it's made anywhere else, but it's, it's kind of a, a brittle, sugary kind of toffee slash fudge sweet and also on the back of that that, that taste there uh, orange get a little bit of orange kind of candied orange peel yeah it's a very sweet whiskey maybe a hint of strawberry there on the finish Definitely getting strawberry. Uh, I'd say um, to go along with the, the sweet shop again, Haribo's giant strawberries, the, the, uh, the kind of chewy ones. And also a spice there, uh, maybe ginger spice. Well, obviously not a spice girl, but the taste. Yeah, really nice whiskey. All round, it's a good whiskey. Uh, I think Glen Mirangi and the, the, the distillers um, are definitely managed to hit the target with their Milshawn uh, embodiment of sweet shops and candy shops. No doubt, no doubt there, it is a good whiskey. For me, 8.5 out of 10, when my friends come round, this is one that generally gets picked um, or pointed at to try because it's just such a nice whiskey, easy going, uh, goes down very well and it's a very sweet whiskey. So, thanks for watching. I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Wims, see you later.